During the month of December, we saw truck tonnage go up 1% from November. Now this essentially offsets a uh, similar decrease during November, so it's been kind of flat over the last couple of months. Um, that's on a seasonally adjusted basis. On a not seasonally adjusted basis, for you fleets out there, uh, it did go up 2.9% from November, so a little bit stronger, but once you account for the holidays and normal shipping patterns, it was up a little bit less, 1% on a month-to-month -month basis. On a year-over-year -year basis, so compared with uh, December of 2014, it was up 1.1%. For all of 2015, we saw a tonnage up 2.6%. So clearly, December was not up as much as the year as a whole. And in fact, we saw a deceleration through the second half of the year. And if you take the last four months of the year and look at the year-over-year -year gains, it was up just 1.2% uh, on average, okay? So clearly not as good as the annual number. So what's going on? Um, well, factories uh, have slowed down. That's weighing on tonnage. We have very little new fracking activity. That's weighed on tonnage. But probably more than anything, we've got a glut of inventory throughout the supply chain. And that's going to weigh on volumes until they can clear that out. And so far, we have seen little evidence that the supply chain has been able to reduce uh, those inventories. So that, that's a concern of mine. There are some positives, right? We've got housing starts that are, are better. Um, the consumer is spending more. They make a little bit more money, saving a lot of money and buying gasoline. So those are all positives, and obviously consumer spending is a, a huge chunk of the U.S. economy. So once we get through this inventory glut, I'll feel a lot better about things, um, but it's going to take some months to do that. So again, during the month of December, we saw a month-to-month -month gain of 1% in truck tonnage, and we saw a year-over-year -year gain of 1.1%.